I'm back with another video based on the request you guys been putting in the comments and we did a video on how to change the joysticks and everything else people keep asking me how do you remove the battery and how you can replace the battery in this video I'm going to cover that up it's really simple really easy you just need a little patience doing it and I'll leave the link for materials every tool that I use and the battery replacement in the video description so you guys can purchase yours if yours is not holding up any more charge you simply want to replace it and this video is for you so before we do we want to power off completely you want to remove the card reader any game card you have in there and remove any sd card that you have on the bottom side so remove both of them power it off and grab yourself the screwdriver set i'll use the ifix screwdriver set from this tool set we're going to be using a phillips and double zero and then the y double zero and also if you get the pro set that will include you with an opening tool tweezers and some spatula that you're going to be needing if you don't get the pro set get the basic set uh, for the opening tool i'll be using a, a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick suitable to opening covers you need a plastic spatula and you need a sharp tweezer with all this on hand let's get it started first thing first on the box on the right at the back cover, there's a four screws. These are the Y screws, so go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile. They are the same size and height. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now we're going to switch to Phillips 00. We're going to remove two screws, one on the top side and two on the top side i mean and two right by the power jack go ahead and remove this one okay once you remove this one you're going to grab the opening tool you're going to always start on the bottom cover and you're going to stick it right there and you're just going to roll it over and just let it twisting to the sides same thing right here and twisting go to this side little twisting and you want to lift it up like that but don't pull it too much hold it go to top side and you want to do this side right in the middle right by the audio jack right there there we go now i can pick it up lift it up and pull it toward the audio jack so you can release the audio jack once the audio jack is released you can just separate them all right now we need to remove this shield because the battery is right under the shield. The shield, you need a Phillips, and you're going to remove one screw, two screw, three, and four. Four screws you're going to remove from this bottom plate. So remove these four screws. One in the middle. One right corner, top left. And not this one, the one right beside it that touches the metal right there. Once you remove this one, just grab the bottom, the plate, and bring it upward. And just remove it. Okay, there's a lot of thermal pads, uh, thermal paste in here. You can just squish these pads, put them right in the middle, so it can go over there. So the battery is right there. The model for this battery is an HDH-003. I'll try to get the new battery link. I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. To remove it, first we need to remove this cable right here. This is bridged for the left side joystick. So lift up the connector right there and pull the flex cable backward. Now we need to hold this flex cable back so you guys can see. To remove this battery connector, put the spatula right behind it and then lift it upward well, let me see i can do it this way right there once you bring it up the battery is disconnected now to remove the battery it has a little adhesive on the other side of this case we need to remove that adhesive to remove the battery you just have to pry it out there's no other way because they put a double side adhesive in there so pretty much you have to stick the opening tool right there we're using a metal spatula right there Apply it slowly, gently. Do a little bit, don't force it too much. Do the top portion. Okay. 
why they have to put such a hard adhesive in there. Pretty much you gotta work it slowly, gently, just like this, until the whole thing comes out. And there we have it. So look at this big, huge, thick, double-sided tape that they put right over. So this is what I don't like about it. So if you ever change your battery, do not put a double-sided tape. So make your life easy for the future replacement. These batteries are very really bendable, so if you take it out, it's bended. Nothing's gonna happen. It's a polymer. It's just like a piece of the polymer. Nothing's gonna happen. This is just fine. So don't put any other adhesive in here. Just grab your new battery, put it straight over on top like that, and squeeze it slowly, and that's it. It can be loose a little bit. That's fine. I'd rather for it to be loose in there. Then be sticky for it to be hard for it to be removed. Okay. And what you want to do is to put the connector for the battery, squeeze it right over like that, and that's it. Lift up this jack, squeeze the connector right underneath, and lock it down. And there we have it. And that's how you replace the battery for your Nintendo Switch Lite. One last step down here would be to grab the cover, bring it up, make sure the screw holes match, put it down, and that's it. You just have to make sure the screw holes do match. There. And we're gonna put the tiny screws that we removed. Remember the gold screws was the one all the way here. Put that screw right there. And then use a, it is the same screw bit. Put the tiny screw right on the back shield. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw. And then the last thing would be the cover. If you guys wanna follow the video still to finish it up, the cover, you wanna put the jack, audio jack right over here and squeeze it down make sure it goes right in there it has to be sitting nice and flat and then squeeze the sides the bottom and that's it the last part would be switching back to y screw bit and put the back cover again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click that like and subscribe if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.